What causes a seed to germinate? We have many times sowed a seed in our gardens and found it developing into a lovely shoot in the next couple of days or weeks. Today, we will discuss what causes this fascinating journey from a seed to a shoot and what dormancy is. The ripe seeds of plants germinate when they're exposed to favorable environmental conditions. However, the seeds of many plants do not germinate as soon as they are shed. They have to pass through a resting or dormant period during which they will not germinate, no matter how favorable the environmental conditions are. The dormant period may be days, weeks, or even years, depending on the species. Dormant seeds are usually dry, and their vital activities are much reduced. They respire anaerobically. They are able to withstand harsh environmental conditions, such as very cold or very hot weather, allowing them to survive longer in unfavorable seasons. Having a dormant period, or delayed germination, also benefits the seeds in terms of its dispersals and reduces their competition for water and light due to simultaneous germination. Dormant period can be purposely prolonged if seeds are kept dry. However, in this state, many seeds lose their viability in adverse conditions or if kept more than a few weeks longer. When the dormant period is over, the seeds will sprout if conditions are favorable. What is germination? Germination is the process during which the food reserves present in the seeds are broken down and the embryo starts to grow. Germination may be triggered by several factors, including changes in temperature or water availability. Some seeds require their seed coats to be broken, for example, by being passed through the gut of an animal before they will germinate. Like we discussed before, a dormant seed has a very low water content. Therefore, the first step in germination is the absorption of water by the seed. The seed swells and the tester becomes more permeable to oxygen and carbon dioxide. The swelling of the seed may rupture the tester. In non-endospermic seeds, the digestion of the stored foods occurs within the cotyledons. It is processed by the enzymes. In each case, the stored food is digested and the soluble end products of digestion are transported to the growing regions of the embryo that is, the plumule and the radicle. It is good to know that some of the food we eat is also utilized by plants to grow. Can you guess what they are? Yes, they are macronutrients, such as carbohydrates and fats. Carbohydrates, namely glucose, together with fats, are used in tissue respiration to liberate the energy required for growth and other vital activities. Another proportion of carbohydrates and fats are also used for the formation of cell walls and cell membranes. The amino acids from proteins are assimilated into the building of new cell organelles. Due to the absorption of water, the seeds increase in size, but its dry mass gradually decreases because of the active tissue respiration. These activities continue until the seedling can make its own food by the process of photosynthesis. Types of germination there are two types of germination, epigeal germination and hypogeal germination. In the case of epigeal germination, the cotyledons are carried above the ground, for example, sword bean seed. While in the case of hypogeal germination, the cotyledons remain below the surface of the soil, for example, maize and broad bean. Stages of germination. There are three main stages of germination. The imbibition of water, increased metabolic activity, and swelling of cells. First, water is imbibed into the seed. The 5-10% to moisture level inside the seed then increases cellular respiration. Second, metabolic activity surges and synthesizes gibberellin hormone, which stimulates the enzymes required to convert the food storage to energy. Third, the cells swell and ruptures the seed coat or tester. The radical always grows rapidly and pushes against the tester and splits it at the micropile. The radical always grows downward, the same as gravity, no matter how the seed is positioned. Then, the lateral roots develop and help absorb water and mineral salts from the soil. Shortly after the radical emerges, the stem below the cotyledons grows and raises it above the ground. At first, the stem is hook-like, with the cotyledons bent over and still close together to protect the delicate plumule. The tester already unpatched, while plumule continues to grow upwards, facing the light. Soon, the stem straightens, the cotyledons turn green and spread out, exposing the first leaves with the bud between them. This bud will grow into the future shoot. The foliage leaves expand, turn green, and carry out photosynthesis. 
This seedling is now a self-supporting plant. Thank you for your continuous support, especially our valued patrons and members who have been encouraging us to keep producing more quality content.